What's up, Pisces? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. Join as I read you your life, baby. Thank you to everyone who's liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do. And if you need to get a personal read from me, make sure you hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation working and things of that nature. So, spirit, you are welcome into this reading. Yes, honey, yes. Sage for the Pisces. Okay, so I wanted to try this spread. Y'all know how I like to start out with Pisces first. The last one, y'all was not feeling that shit. Nobody old, nothing like that. So I wanted to do the opposite. Yes, honey, yes. We're going to do a quick love and romance spread, okay, on anybody new that could be coming your way, that their potential. So we're going to look at you. And we're going to look at them. And then we're going to see... Um, the relationship potential. Okay, so um, with this person, if you are dealing with someone new, it could be that you're not really talking or someone's not talking quite yet. Like I said, this could be the potential, okay? There definitely could be something that someone is thinking of resting on. Someone could have just gotten out of a relationship or multiple relationships for some of you guys. Seven of Cups, Four of Swords. And I feel like on your end, you're dealing with a lot of jealousy and a lot of closing of cycles for some of you Pisces, okay? Um, now, with you, I feel like there is a lot of research that people have to do in order to get an understanding of you. A lot of you guys could be dealing with people that uh, could be on narcissistic behavior or you attract narcissists, people who are all about themselves, self-absorbed, all right? But I do feel um, there's definitely someone who is really trying to get over a situation first from the past. Definitely could have a lot of regrets. Could be bringing in a lot of nervousness to, start, to try and start some new things here. Um, but I do feel like the relationship potential is actually pretty good for of um, wand energy here. Okay, now the reason why I said that is that they could be potentially bringing some narcissistic behavior and their qualities is because of the Six of Wands coming in reverse, the Five of Cups, Okay, also um, the Five of Swords, so definitely a lot of endings, a lot of losses that you could have had in the background dealing with uh, someone that you are trying to move on and move forward from, okay, especially with that Page of Swords. These three cards, these four cards are indicating to me um, someone who could be spying on you, definitely narcissistic qualities because they have a lot of regrets and sorrow, but they also are really jealous, kind of self-absorbed here, so be aware of that trying to get over this type of tendency, okay? Um, now, for some of you guys, I'm definitely seeing if you are having a new start, you're needing to let go of the things from the past, your differences. Definitely take some time out here to get to know yourself, get to know your partner as well as far as your relationship potential. I feel multiple actions um, could be needing to take place, all right? Someone definitely could be possessive. But they're also moving too slow. So if you're dealing with a potential, you could be dealing with Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, also Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. And I'm also seeing here um, Taurus, for sure. But there's going to be a lot of communication happening between you and this person. Uh, you have the Ace of Swords and also um, with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Wands, I feel like there's an action that's going to be taken here. Now, some of you guys could be dealing with two different people. Or you could have two different relationship potential spices, okay? Uh, but I'm definitely seeing here there could be uh, someone who's letting go of heartbreak. You're already knowing in the truth of what it is that you want in your next person or the person that you're wanting to meet, okay? Now, as far as the relationship potential, I do feel like there's definitely someone who needs to communicate more things here, especially with the Eight of Wands, okay? So you need to get out there and talk to this motherfucker. Okay, don't be shy or tell that motherfucker not to be shy. Tell him Lorel said, don't be shy, babe. <laughs> so uh, I feel like you're letting go of a lot of things from the past and you're starting to see what you do want to come to fruition through these experiences. I'm also feeling like um, 
Now, there could be a situation where you're in a winding road, all right? Seems like things are just going on and on and on and long and forever. Look at those roads. So I do feel like there's definitely someone who's needing to make a final decision being in, you know, a split mind or having two uh, different um, energies that they're needing to make a decision over. So I feel like this person is going to be bringing in some commitment if they were to have some sort of relationship potential. It's something you are going to manifest or something that you have manifested. This person could be wiser, okay, could be older, wiser than you have dealt with before, okay? Uh, but I'm also seeing here it could be someone who's very into their money or someone who can provide you security here is what I'm seeing here. Um, and not only just, uh, you know, love security, but financial security, too, for some of you guys, someone who's uh, definitely on top of their game or who's all about their business, okay? Now, the advice is to definitely think about this situation. Um, I do feel with the relationship potential is there, okay, especially with the five of pentacle energy. But I'm seeing uh, with the seven of cups, as far as the advice is saying, to not be so motherly and so nurturing and shit, okay? Try not to spoil people, okay? Think about what you're doing before you make that next step with this person, especially if they could be involving some sort of money investments or there could be somebody who is wanting a um, like a motherly type of role, someone who's going to like help them do certain tasks and shit like that. So try not to be so motherly, um, you know, or needy for some of you guys because it's kind of like, you know, all the Pisces I know, they're either extremely secure, okay, and have high self-esteem or the lower level ones really don't know what the fuck they want and they have no self-esteem whatsoever. Um, but I know that there's a lot of high self-esteem Pisces that be watching my videos. Okay, so I feel like this is definitely you having to take your time into what you're investing in. And the, and the time that you're putting into the people, okay? Because I feel like some of you all are definitely feeling good at being in your independence with the Nine of Pentacles, also with the Queen of Swords. Um, you guys could be definitely um, too independent um, or reliant on someone else's emotional feelings, not their finances, but their emotional feelings. Now with this Queen of Swords, I do feel like there could be some of you guys, the advice is to... You know, just want factual information, get factual information before you even proceed with you and this person trying to move forward, okay? Especially if you dealt with narcissistic qualities in the past, Pisces. So I'm definitely seeing here in the relationship advice is to definitely get some clarity first, okay? Uh, before you start renewals, be very sharp about what it is you're wanting, your truths, okay? How you want things done because... You know, that's how you attract things that are on your level is once you, um, you know, cut the bullshit out, you tell people what the fuck you want, you're assertive about it, okay, and you're also humble about it. I'm definitely seeing here you're going to attract what it is that you've been uh, desiring, okay? So now, likely outcome, two of cups, ooh, Pisces, darling. So if you're dealing with somebody who's coming in new or some potential, whoever's coming towards you, I feel like this is definitely a situation that you're going to go along with, or it could be a new beginning to a journey here with this fool, okay? You've got all of the astronomical signs out there, okay? So with all of these signs, it's being told that you have a new beginning that you're ready for, okay? You got... um. You got uh, motherfucking glitter and uh, goddamn gold coming out your ass and motherfucking gold rings and shit. <laughs> so a lot of you Pisces definitely could be, uh, you know, just ready for a new beginning, ready for anything, down for whatever. If this person is respecting you in the way that you want to as a soulmate, because things are definitely coming together. It could be possible fire sign Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, also Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio up in the mix. And Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Now, I do feel like this is going to be something that could be sexually based with the Ace of Wands or someone is definitely utilizing their sexual organs up in this motherfucker. So be aware of that. I do feel like with uh, the Two of Pentacles, there's someone who's going to try to maintain two different things. You have the Two of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, but I feel like you guys are balancing work situations, love life all together. Pisces, I'm seeing here. A lot of you guys could be letting go of things from the past and wanting to start something new with someone else. Um, there's going to be some truths that come into fruition 
um, for some of you all with that high priestess energy. This is definitely, this could be you, okay? But I feel like you want this equal give and take. Possible outcomes is it looks to me like there is somebody who's having to travel or there could be someone that you're needing to move away from first. And then these actions are getting ready to start that flirtation with that page of cups, queen of wands, someone that definitely finds you attractive. OK, and I also feel like with the ace of pentacles and the knight of cups, this person definitely in the likely outcomes wants to make a move towards you. Also could be wanting to, uh, you know, bring in some things together, but it could be a struggle uh, for some of you guys, um, a lot of people, you know, coming in and out, a lot of people from the past that could be blocking you, okay, cock block and pussy block and whatever you want to call it, Pisces, could be them fuck boys that want chance after chance after chance that could be blocking you, all right, or, you know, females too can be fuck ass tricks, all right, um, but a lot of you guys are dealing with someone that could be older and wiser, you could be looking for someone who's older and wiser, um, but I do feel uh, possible potential is a lot coming in here. You got the Ace of Cups and also the Ten of Cups energy. So a lot of you guys could be dealing with someone um, that wants to bring in this love. But like I said, you got old Joe Blow from behind the block trying to come back in and, you know, bring his ass on in with his narcissistic ass and you fall for it. So you could be blocked. It could be blocked due to that. Okay. So. Let's see what the romance angels have to say. I just spilled like three of them. But I'll pretend like I didn't see that. So, Pisces, let's get a romance angel, okay, on this potential love or whoever could be coming towards you, new towards you. Ooh. Release your ass. Fuck, that shit fell out too. So, Pisces, let that old dust bucket go okay because that motherfucker ain't gonna serve you no good it could be just a sexually based relationship or somebody just could be addicted to sex but i am saying you need to let that motherfucker go not only just the sex but sexual energy could help you or it could you could be breaking a bond or a tie uh for some of you all it's kind of like this person um you know if you were to have somebody new coming in you could be going back and forth to that old ex all right now, some of y'all could be dealing with that soulmate energy that could be coming towards you or that you could be dealing with that's fairly new. Yes, this is your soulmate. And then you need to have that real conversation about some true shit between you and this person and how you're going to either let them go so that'll stop cock blocking or, you know what I'm saying, let this new soulmate come in because it could be a true love, a romance of a lifetime. So get your ass ready, Pisces. It might be a lot of sexual passion here, too, that you guys are trying to, you know, exude before anything. So check that shit first. If you want real security, try not to go in full force with the, uh, you know, advances and whatnot. But all right, Pisces, I love you guys. I'm going to get on out of here. I just wanted to shoot this message. Let's see how you guys do and what you guys say about this video. I love all the comments and the feedback. Even if it is negative, I don't give a fuck. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Tell me what you think about this spread. Peace.